think you're ready to take the Certified Surgical Technologist exam? It's a little more complicated than you think. Hey there, I'm Brandon, the Sterile Guy, and today I'm gonna to talk to you about the Certified Surgical Technologist Certification Exam. I'm gonna talk about the score you need to pass, the content that is on the exam, and the reference materials you need to be studying for this exam. And lastly, I'm gonna share the statistics of the passing uh, rates for the prior years. So first off, in case you didn't know, you have to be a graduate of either an accredited surgical technology program or the military surgical technology program to actually sit for this certification exam. If neither of those apply to you, I'm sorry you cannot test yet. If you'd like me to create a video on the different surgical technology schoolings and kind of comparing them, I would love to do that. Just let me know you want it comments down below. For those of you who are eligible, I would say congratulations. This is a fantastic field to be a part of. Now let's get to work on getting you certified so that you can get paid. The CST is a very comprehensive exam that covers a lot of different areas. The pass rate for the last few years has been anywhere from under 65% to just under 74%. So basically somewhere around three out of four people pass the exam. That's a pretty good pass rate right off the bat, but you have to understand people are just coming out of school. They've just undergone months of training. So that's definitely gonna elevate you to pass the exam. But as we all know, just getting through school does not guarantee you a passing score. I know when I took this exam back in the day, it was challenging very challenging and this was only about 10 years ago. The CST exam uses reference materials that you need to be familiar with. Some of these were probably part of your textbook stuff while you were in school. Some of these include Alexander's Care of Patients in Surgery, Surgical Technology Principles of Practice, Surgical Technology for the Surgical Technologist, Principles of Anatomy and Physiology, Pharmacology for the Surgical Technologist, Tabor's Cyclopedia Medical Dictionary, and a few others that aren't quite as important. I have linked the content outline down below, which explains more about the materials I just listed. Okay, this exam is 175 questions long and you will have four hours to complete it. Of the 175 questions, only 150 actually count toward your score. The other 25 are research questions to kind of predict what would be good questions for the future on the future exams. Unfortunately, you will not know which questions are research and which ones are counted. But of the 150 counted questions, you only need 102 to pass. So basically you only need 68% to pass. Now, what is the breakdown of the content? I'm glad you asked. I've also linked this down below if you wanna check it out. But the content outline actually breaks down the number of questions per category. The other awesome thing about the content outline is it actually breaks down even further. So not just the category, but what's specifically under that category it's really looking for. The exam covers a lot of ground and it's really expensive to take. So passing on the first time needs to be your goal. And in order to do that, you need to be prepared. I created a video sharing tried and true practices to pass any exam. It's full of psychologically validated practices for studying that help you to retain memory. And I've also created CST practice exams for you to practice your skills before that coming exam date. You can either buy the four of them individually or you can get all four in a great deal bundle pack. And if you sign up for the email newsletter, you'll get 15% off your first order. These are digital practice exams that once you place the order, you'll receive them in just a few minutes. I wanna wish you all the best of luck on your CST exam. If you watched this video or used my CST practice exams, let me know how that test went. I love to hear the feedback. Any topics or videos you wanna see, don't hesitate to put them in the comments down below. Please like and subscribe. I love you guys. Have fun in your future careers, and I'll catch you in the next one. Mm -hmm.